Question 21. The table below shows the height of a column of water as it drains from its container. You'll notice that it includes the elapsed time and the water level. The variables for the problem are t and h. It asks us to model the data with a quadratic function. So the first thing that we need to do is go to our graph and enter that information. So that's where I'm headed right now. Okay, if I go to stat edit, you will notice that I already took the time to enter that information and so I have all of the elapsed times as my list one and all of the water levels as list two. It does ask me to model the data with a quadratic function. So I am going to now go to stat calc. I want a quadratic model which is option five. I do want to say what lists it came from. So second list one comma second list two comma and I'm going to store it into my y equals, so y1. So I need to go to vars, y vars, function, y1, and now I'm all set. So you'll notice I did get my quadratic um, equation, which we'll write down in just a second here. Let me just get my information. I'm going to have, let's see, h equals 0 0.009 t squared minus 2.106 t plus 120.333. All right, and as long as I'm still on the screen, the next one, it says to draw a scatter plot in a graph. So remember, we can just do a zoom nine on this one. And you'll notice I'm getting my scatter plot and my graph because I did have my stat plot turned on. So if you didn't turn your stat plot on, you didn't get dots, make sure that you go back and turn your stat plot on and hit zoom nine again. So you'll notice I am getting a very nice line with dots in my quadratic model goes right through the, the, skip, the point. So that's a good thing. As long as I'm on the screen also, it asks me to use the model to estimate the water level at 35 seconds. Remember to do that, we're just going to go to table, which is second graph, and then we can enter the x value that we want. This time it's 35. So we can just enter 35, and you will notice that the water level is 50 7.937. So now I'm just going to go back to my previous screen to record my answers. Okay, so when it said to model the data with the quadratic function, that function was h equals 0.009t squared minus 2.106t plus 120.333. And then please notice that my T was my lapse time and my H was my water level. When I drew the scatter plot, I'm just going to draw what I saw on my screen. I did see some dots and then I saw the line going right through it and that's how I can tell that it was a good fit. And then when I estimated and when I plugged 35 into my table, I got 57.3, excuse me, 937. The unit on this would be millimeters. It might ask me in the problem to the nearest millimeter, at which point I would look at the 7, the 9 would bump it up, so it would be 58 millimeters. But you can just pay attention to the wording of the question to figure that out.